Star Wars Force Commander is a real-time strategy video game released on Microsoft Windows. Its plot interweaves between Star Wars and New Hope and Return of the Jedi, taking place in key battles. Originally conceived as a 2D strategy game, LucasArts cancelled the overall design after its first public viewing at E3 1998. Instead, the developer used an optimized version of a 3D engine supplied by Ronin Entertainment. This change in design delayed the game from its original late 1998 release timeframe to an early 2000 release. The company said it took the time to ensure innovation in this competitive genre without the pressure of a deadline. The game was jointly developed by LucasArts and Ronin Entertainment using Ronin's programmers and engine partnered with LucasArts project leadership, designers and artists. Peter McConnell created remix tracks of John Williams' original score with influences from hard rock and techno music. During gameplay, the player commands forces as though they are the commander rather than an infantry unit. The game utilizes a bird's eye view around a 3D map. The levels are largely plot focused, with early levels playing as the Imperial faction against the Rebellion, whilst as a plot progresses and the character deflects to the Rebellion, players then fight against the Imperials. What can I do for you, General? I don't know. What can you do for me? What if I told you that I could deliver the Rebel Alliance an all-terrain armored transport? A walker? I would say I was cautiously intrigued. There are no fights in space. Every battle is ground assault based. Next to the main story mode campaign, scenarios can be replayed and players can set up their own battles in the skirmish mode where up to four sides can compete against one another. Though, they only have the faction choice of Imperials and the Rebellion. These battles can be played locally against AI or with other players through the network multiplayer options. Some reviewers were excited by the game's story and original gameplay elements while others cited the game's graphics and camera usage as its main problems. The game won the award for most disappointing game of the year at GameSpot's Best and Worst of 2000 Awards.